Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the questions that were asked in this company and this FR round two. So if you remember, we have created a previous video where we have discussed about the questions that were asked in uh, round one. And now we are discussing the questions that are asked for round two. So let us thank our subscriber who has shared us these questions before we get started so that you know it can help others who are preparing and I encourage all others who are watching the video please share your questions that are asked so that it can help others preparation as well. So here we go. So the first question that was asked in this is I need always current date to be displayed in the workbook how will you achieve it? achieve it okay so one simple method to do this is you can use today function we all know what uh, today function will do right so what does today function do today function will display today's date which is which indirectly means current date simple okay so you can use this in the dashboard okay and you can simply pull this into the view and put it wherever you want you want it to apply filters based on this you can do that you know you want to drop it on filter shelf you can do that you can put it on label you can do that whatever you want you can do that but this is how you can use current date okay or you can display current date in the scene second is create a parameter out of category field when parameter category is selected example as technology then view should display only technology how will you achieve it so this is a scenario based question that were asked so let us try to create it what i'm trying to do is I'm trying to do whatever he said, create a parameter out of category. Okay, so simple, go to our category item that is uh, under this. Okay, I'm creating a parameter here. Okay, we got all the values that are in the in this particular category item and I'm just naming it as whatever it is. Okay, category parameter, click OK. So click OK and click on show painter. Uh, sorry show parameter we got some values on top of that and here whenever i'm selecting technology my view should display only technology item is what my intention so for that i'm just preparing my view so that we can relate to it okay all you need to do is write a simple calculation so i'm writing it as a p a category a parameter and just category is equal to category parameter that's it so whenever this becomes true so how this will get evaluated on the left hand side we have category item that is coming from our database or from our source which will have three values right furniture office supplies and technology which means but on the right side what do we have we have only one item that is technology because we can select only one value at a time so now assume this is how it happens furniture so I'm just writing furniture is equal to technology. Is it equal to furniture is equal to technology? No, so false will print here. Then next what we have office supplies. Office supplies is equal to technology. No, it will print again false. Then technology is equal to technology. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Then at any given point of time you take, we will get only true or false, but not beyond that. So it will create a boolean type okay i'm just clicking on apply you see true or false it is creating a boolean statement so all we need to do is just take this and drop it on filter shelf this select it true from here apply okay now whatever the item i'm selecting from my parameter only that will be displayed so you can drop sales just to have a value here Okay, so that is what the second scenario is pretty straightforward. I think we have covered multiple times about this. So what is subscription, how you uh, have used in your project? So here there are two items, guys, you know, don't get confused. One is subscription and another one is alert. There are two items. What is subscription? Subscription is something like, you know, a user want to get notified or he want to get uh, a dashboard image whenever uh, dashboard is refreshed in that situation we will use subscription option so what does this do it will send us uh, a snapshot of dashboard simple okay it can be your image format it can be your pdf format or whatever the format that you are requesting or configuring during in the admin section but what is alert here alert is a conditional based okay alert is conditional based Means like say you want to highlight whenever sales is crossing 5,000. Only uh, under such circumstances send me an alert. So this is a conditional base. So here what will you get? You'll get a alert stating whatever the KPI you have mentioned. 
has crossed the threshold value that is the difference between your subscription and alert okay i hope this is clear okay next is what are the different roles in tableau server now this is something interesting you know anything that you do in tableau server is always dependent on the kind of permission you have so to make it easier i have created this okay so we have viewer permission first one or viewer role okay he can only view like mostly end users he can see the report that's it okay not beyond that next is explorer um, uh, like uh, chances are that you know, developers like you and me can have this permission view uh, he can see the report he can edit it from view uh, from the web or he can publish it also okay three options creator these days you know for if you want to develop if there is a desktop in your project that you are using then chances are there that you will have this permission creator he is the one who can see the report he can do web editing he can do publishing and he can also create a dashboard from the desktop as well so creator license so that's why always you might have heard in real time you know we need a creator license creator license something this is the new one here next is a site admin site admin means like you know in, a, in an entire server okay there can be multiple sites okay so like you are working in one project that is one side uh one site you know your friend is working in a different project that is one side like that okay so in an entire sp space you they will be dividing that into small buckets basing on the usage so that is a site admin so site admin can see the report he can do web editing he can publish he can create and he can do admin site admin activities but one when site admin can do uh, admin activities only related to that particular site S server admin he can take care of the entire server owner of your house something like that okay so these are the different you know roles that are available in the server i hope you know this clarifies so uh, if you need i'll just paste this also in the description box maybe you can take it from there okay so going back to this one next uh, difference between administrator and creator role i think we have discussed that so there was some sql questions based on having and where clause okay so very simple question i would say write any sql query which consists of group by having and where clause and explain how it is working with respect to example table okay now user here the interviewer is asking about you know having where and group by clause and is asking the working here okay so we can write whatever the statement we want like say select okay ename sum of cell from emp group by ename something like that we can write okay right and again where you know sum of salary greater than whatever the value we want like that we can write okay so explain any complex logic that you have implemented implemented in your project so for this always have you know at least one to two scenarios ready for you so that you can talk about them it can be you know how you have implemented an lod it can be uh, about how you have implemented a parameter use case or it can be something like how you have uh, you know created a particular view or any calculations that you have written custom calculations that you have written in your project to find out some metric all that can come under your complex logic okay so here user is asking about current date to be displayed that can also be one of the complex logic okay all you need an answer whatever you feel confident whatever you know scenario you feel comfortable you can talk about that i think we have plenty of uh, you know scenarios in our project you can take it from the playlist here that is there and you can go and talk about that okay so here we have uh, tableau power bi all of that are there so i would say complex challenges you can take or you know uh, scenario questions you can take just prepare this uh, from this is this from this scenario and you will be able to you know answer that okay so with that said i'm ending this video i hope you have found this video useful if it does don't forget to share your valuable comments in the feedback section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day